Perry, an update now on a story we first brought you live at 5. Two separate police chases tearing down the same New Bedford street just hours apart. As the investigation continues, we're learning more about where one driver was taken after being caught by police. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has been on the scene all day long. She joins us now live with the latest. We spoke with a new Bedford police officer about 45 minutes ago. He was unwilling to give us any information about the driver that we caught on camera speeding by the exact spot where a separate car chase came to a dramatic end. Driving on a rim and evading police cruisers, a man behind the wheel of a gray Dodge Neon sped through the streets of New Bedford Monday afternoon. He was pointed toward me. So what I did is I ducked behind my car and then I ran toward the building. Fortunately, uh, he just went right by me. And it wasn't the first chase to come that way. Just hours before, 50-year-old Randall Harrison found himself boxed in by state and environmental police after leading them on a multi-town car chase that began in Rochester and ended on Purchase Street in New Bedford. They apprehended him with guns drawn. Every exit I'm passing, there's more and more cops. I'm like, something's going on. And uh, they had spike strips and everything. I didn't know what to do. I pulled over and I saw... Another 10 cop cars behind them. Massachusetts State Police say the pursuit began after Harrison was spotted hitting his SUV with a hatchet in Rochester earlier Monday. He later waved that hatchet and a knife out of his window during the chase, at one point even pouring butane fluid on himself while inside of his car. As police searched Harrison's car and we spoke with witnesses, shock and panic as the second unrelated chase came speeding by. This is crazy. Two chases in one day, only in New Bedford. <laughs> and Harrison was taken to a local hospital for evaluation. His arrest will be processed once he's released. Again, New Bedford police not offering any information tonight on that second car chase. Reporting live in New Bedford with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.